Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Revisited. I'm Nye, and we are on a discovery hunt, and we will be doing so for quite a while now, actually. Discoveries are going to be our lives for a while as we search for 100% completion and get as close as we can right now. The next discovery we have to hunt down is one of the more obnoxious discoveries. We are getting on to some of the moving discoveries, and hopefully it will not take too long. What we are looking for right now is the Deep Iron Star. The Deep Iron Star has a big looping uh, square that it does south of Yafutoma. And uh, my hope is that I can move kind of, uh, if I remember correctly, it moves in a clockwise, uh, kind of a clockwise uh, pattern. And my hope is to run counterclockwise on its own pattern and look for it. And uh, hopefully that will increase the speed in which I find it. It's kind of a pain in the ass that way. So we're going to go hunting for it. All we're looking for is some metallic object. It's going to be heading towards me at a fairly rapid speed, and it's going to have a blinking light on the top. That's all we're looking for. This could take a little while, unfortunately. I uh, have a tendency to get very unlucky when it comes to these uh, moving uh, discoveries, just because they, you know, they move pretty fast. And uh, we have to actually see them in the limited view range and limited draw distance that we have. So we're just going to kind of hunt for it right now. Just kind of scanning a little bit. I want to stay in lower sky as usual because lower sky means I do not have to fight any random encounters. Don't have any monsters I have to hunt down. Uh, we just get to kind of do our own thing. Let's see. Come on. Where are you? There's Spice Island. I think I might be uh, might be cutting off its uh, flight pattern a little bit. Kind of surprised I haven't seen it yet, to be honest. Because even though I could tend to be very unlucky with these uh, moving ones, uh, I shouldn't be this unlucky. Hmm. Keep looking for it. We gotta find this thing. Like it's it's on our list. We can't just ignore it. But it's uh, it. Yeah, I mean you you can kind of see on the map. If you kind of see when I'm looking at the map every so often, you can kind of see where I'm going, and uh, where the corners of this thing's uh, you know, range is. Come on, where are you, little pain in the ass? Did I not go far enough north? No, I'm I'm pretty far north. I'm I'm as far north as I need to be. Oh come on, where are you? I know this is the lower sky one. There's an upper sky one too. But uh, this is the lower sky one. Come on, where are you? Show yourself. It's gotta be here. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. Is this blasted iron star? Oh gosh, I should be north of Spice Island now. There's Spice Island. So, I mean, I'm in the exact places I'm supposed to be. This thing just does not want to show itself. And the problem is, of the discoveries of its type, of the there's a number of moving ones that I have to hunt down. This is the easiest one to find. I mean, there's there's harder ones I have to hunt down later on. Hmm. And there's the guard. There's the first pieces of the guardian walls above me, which is where this thing's supposed to be. Just, there it is. Haha, <laughs> We found it. Kind of blends into the background, doesn't it? This is the Deep Iron Star. Give you some idea of what the technology was to these places before the actual like uh, rocks fell. This is a metallic relic of the ancient world. Legend has it that the ancients once harnessed the power of the blue moon to be able to detect sound waves to let them know when the enemies were approaching. Perhaps this machine once served such a purpose. Once again, I think the designers of the game were running off of myths and legends in order to make some of these. So I believe that goes off the myth, once again, a Mythbusters tested myth, that there were uh, people who were listening to sounds of incoming armies uh, at walls to tell them exactly when the armies were going to arrive. Okay, so the next one we have to find, this one is probably the most obnoxious discovery in the game. 
for one single reason. You can't track it. And I say that because this is a discovery that goes around the dark rift. And it goes underneath the clouds. And you have to... You can't keep up with it. You can't move with it. You just gotta kinda get lucky and hope you see it. It's just... It's a big rolling rock. That's all it is. Just a big rolling rock. It's pretty large. It moves fairly quickly. And, uh... You just gotta be... You gotta, you gotta get lucky. So rather than try to get lucky with this one... Because... Chances are I'm not going to. We're going to go get the one we can get. And that's going to be up here. In Upper Sky. Let's go hunting. So the one in Upper Sky. And I just got to get my bearings here. Because there's a certain set of places it likes to go. We are looking for a ship. We just passed Inverse Isle. It is flying in the Upper Sky. It's kind of... As I said, there's no, there's no, uh, let's see, okay, there's not really a lot of, uh, landmarks up here, so I gotta kinda check my map constantly to kinda get an idea of exactly where I am. A little bit too far inwards here, because it's very hard to figure out exactly where you are to get an idea of where to go next. What the hell? Nope, I'm in the right place. So we're kind of going clockwise around uh, around the dark rift here. I'm cutting little corners on these. I should really get my uh, get my act together when it comes to searching for this thing because we could be out here for a very long time hunting it down. Which could be a pain in the ass. Which we don't want. We don't want that at all. We want to find this thing as quickly as humanly possible. But uh, this is kind of like the, uh, the sky train. It's a big flying thing, moves fairly quickly. We're just trying to hunt it down. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Let me know if you see anything. But we are searching for a ship that shouldn't exist. Okay guys, so after 20 minutes or so of fruitless searching, I think I'm gonna do something that I said I probably wasn't gonna do, but I didn't do it last time, so I'm gonna do it now. There's a trick you can use in order to get these things to spawn exactly when you want them to and exactly where you want them to. And that is to use the save and reset uh, spawn secret. And the way this works is that you go to certain places specifically for the traveling uh, discoveries. You save there and you reset. And from there, you leave. So for the ghost ship, we're going to save here and then we're going to reset the game. We're going to leave from here. And then what that'll do is it'll force the ghost ship to spawn at a certain point, and then we're going to go meet it. So let's go ahead and reset and see what happens. Hold on. Okay, so here we are at the opening cutscreen. We're going to go to continue. Go to slot A. Load up our save. Let's go ahead and try this. Something I've actually never done before, so I'm not exactly sure how well this will work. But, <coughs> you know what? If it saves us an hour and a half of looking for these two, uh, well, it, like, there's four different discoveries that we need to do this for. If it saves us an hour and a half of work, I'm, I'm all for it. So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go raise our altitude immediately and then they want us to go south-southwest, which is roughly in this direction. We're going to keep going until we hit a point where two rifts cross, which is uh, basically right there. So that's what we're looking for. And then we should hopefully see our, uh, our ghost ship. So let's go look. Hopefully this works. If not, eh, we're going to keep on searching for it. But uh, can't be worse than what we've been doing so far. So there's our two rifts crossing, and there's our ghost ship. This is what we've been searching for. You have found the ghost ship. An unmanned shipwreck that continues to wander the skies. Many sailors tell of a ghost ship that appeared suddenly from the fog. Some claim that it was once the ship of the great air pirate Dakat, but no evidence has been found to support it. 
So you can kind of see the direction it's going. It's going southeast. I might have been searching the... That was going the right way. I just, I never saw it. So that's that one. Okay, so now we got to do the next one. Which is going to be that one. Okay, so we need to go to Ryukon's Island, which is going to be over here. I'm going to search for the next one. I don't really like doing this sort of thing. Honestly, I don't really like using shortcuts like this. It's not a thing I'm a fan of, but I did this legitimately last time. And if you want to see me do it legitimately and hunting down all these discoveries, I've done it. I've done it multiple times, which is why my patience is kind of lost on this one. So we're going to do this the easy way. And that way, if you really feel like doing it the easy way, if you want to find these things the quickest way possible, or if you're just kind of curious how the game is actually programmed, this is the way you can do it. If you want to see the legit way of hunting all these down, once again, uh, go, to my, uh, uh, go to my previous Let's Play of this game and follow the instructions there. Okay, where's Ryukon's Island? It's right over here. Somewhere. Ryukon, where's your home? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, just in case, is we're going to go underneath the sky, underneath this thing, and we're going to face north. And this is on the off chance that this thing is here already. Yes? No? Okay, we're just going to we're going to go north just a little bit. There's a chance this thing could be here. Not a very big one, but there's a chance it could be here right now and save me a little bit of trouble. And wow, it is. There you go, guys. Here's the rolling stone. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. We have found the rolling stone. In the dark rift, there is a boulder that defies the power of the storm within which it lives. Scientists have tried to study the rock to figure out how it floats, but it moves with such speed that any ship that gets too close is pulled into the depths. There it goes. The big problem with the rolling stone and why it's so hard to get is that if you actually <clears throat> try to encounter it, you have to go through... Like, you have to chase it through these areas. And the problem is, even though I'm able to go through any rift, even though I am underneath the cloud layer, I still cannot fly through the dark rift. It's stupid that the dark rift goes all the way down, but there you go. So, uh, yeah. That's the dark rift. So what I was gonna do in order to kind of cheat this one is that I was going to uh, save at Ryukon's Island, reset, and fly straight north. Didn't have to. I'm really just altogether amazed that I didn't have to. Like, that is... I've never gotten lucky with this thing. It is such a pain in the ass. Okay. So, the next thing we need to do... Let's see, where am I? We need to go over here. So let's do that. I'm, I'm, I'm still amazed that that happened. That was, that was something else. Definitely something else. Okay, so we're going to fly immediately over the Dark Rift, and we're going to drop down down here. There's a discovery that we made over here. I believe this is, yes, this is where the uh, giant squid nest is. So what we want to do is, from the giant squid nest, we want to go underneath the cloud layer, and we want to fly in a thiswardly direction. And this is what we're looking for right here. <clears throat> we have found the ancient fish. A species of fish that was believed to have been extinct millions of years ago as vestigial gills and fins that look like hands and feet seem to point to an evolutionary path from the, the waters to dry land and then to the skies. So that's that one. That one's actually not that hard. Really simple if you know where you're looking. Okay, uh, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here as, t as in terms of time because uh, I kind of lost track of time as I was searching for the uh, ghost ship. So we're going to, if this goes over, I do apologize, it's not my intention, it might happen anyways. So we're going to go into the Lands of Ice next. And we're a long ways away from them, so we're going to search. And we're going to search long, we're going to search hard. That's what we're going to do, yeah. Okay, what are we looking for? Uh, we are not quite there yet. Well, I mean, we're in the Lands of Ice, I mean, that's where we are. As you can see, ice flows. But uh, we're not where I need to be. Okay, so we're going to go look up this mountain chain. This is what we're looking for next. 
And at the very peak of this mountain, at the, at the highest point, the tallest point of the tallest mountain, which is right here, that's where we're going to find our next discovery. Right here. The Tomb of Ice. A coffin of ice built by a father who could not bear his sorrow. The girl encased within the ice bears an expression almost resembling a smile. Etched into a tablet sealed within are the words, My daughter, may your beauty be eternal. Once again, creepy. Okay. That one's actually really easy, though. Next, we're going to fly a little bit north to northwest. And then we're going to immediately dive down. We want to get all the way beneath the uh, beneath the clouds. I saw this earlier. I was trying to do this when we were here for uh, uh, Glacia, but I couldn't quite hit it. This is where we want to be. This is the Southern Cross. A mysterious cross-shaped island. The building that sits atop it is said to be a remnant of the purple civilization. Legends say that this long arm of the cross points toward the location of that civilization, but no one has ever confirmed it. Well, except for us, because we did. But if you look in that direction, you will find Glacia. And then if we go over in this direction, almost due west, we're going to have to keep on hitting the discovery button. See if we can find it. There it is. Oh, this one's not invisible. This is what we're looking for right here. If you're ever looking for discoveries, just look for the thing that doesn't seem to fit. We have found the deep snow. In the sky, deep beneath the lands of ice, a white substance rises up from beneath the clouds, like some sort of secret fountain. It only ever appears in one specific place, making it even more difficult to understand. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, actually. Okay. We're going to take a slight diversion. Because I believe we have discovered everything we need to discover in the uh, lands of ice here. I think we have. Pretty sure we have. We want to go back to Glacia. Which is... Uh, where is Glacia? It's over here. We need to do something we can only do if we go at Galatia from underneath. So we came from above last time we were here. Now we need to come at it from below. There it is. See, I told you there's that big dome. It doesn't say you can, but if you come over here and you interact with the land... Well, there it goes. With the uh, Galatia, you can actually enter Galatia from here. And this allows you to do two things. Number one, you can come over here. And you can get a chest that you were unable to get before. Which gives you a moonberry. And then if you go over here, I believe. Yeah. There it is. There's a moonfish. Cool, huh? Only possible if you come in here from that entrance. And that uh, elevator will bring you back over to where the entrance of the actual glacier is. But you cannot get here from that side. Only from this side. Only from doing just like that. Okay. So cool stuff. And there's the big hole we just made, I guess. No, that's the that's how oh okay, that's how Rocknam got in. That big hole in the side. So as you can see, it's a very, very big city. Okay, where are we gonna go next? You know what? I think I wanna go to Looperland. Would you guys like to go to Looperland? I wanna go to Looperland. And because I'm the one piloting this ship, what I say goes. Let's go to Looperland. We're gonna fly up <coughs> when it lets us. Up. There we go. And now we're going to go south. What is Looperland, you ask? Wow. See this big area right over here? This big, empty area? That is Looperland. And it's called Looperland for a very specific reason. This is Looperland. And the reason why they call it Looperland is because the only enemy you're able to encounter in this particular stretch of sky are loopers. Seriously, I'm not joking. Those little annoying things that run away all the time? Loopers. They're the only thing you'll encounter here. Watch. See, we're on, we're on our ship. We're engaging enemies. Loopers. Lots of them. Dozens of the little things. That's all you'll encounter here. It's just endless loopers. Loopers of all kinds. There's even, a, there's even a sky battle boss here. It is a looper. It is the, it's the only thing you can find here is loopers. The thing about loopers is that they give you a lot of experience. They give you a ton of experience. They're, just, they're experience fountains. So if you really want to level up, if you want to level up really, really fast, this is the place to go. Looperland. And now you know how to find it. 
I mean, it's not very, it's not hard to find. Looper land is really easy to go to. You just go to this, like, triangular patch of sky. The thing is, there's only two ways to get into Looper land. Either to come in from above, like I did, or below. Well, you can't do it below, you have to go above. Or you have to wait until after you go to Lands of Ice, because the only other way to get in here is one of those rock, um, wall things, like next to Land of Ice and uh, Yafutoma. It's the only way to get in here. So, Looper land. Okay. There's actually discoveries to get in Looperland, and there is also a, a sky battle that I don't want to do this episode because it'll take a little bit longer than I really want to take. But we're looking for two discoveries. The first discovery can be a bit of a bear, like a lot of discoveries we've had so far, because it goes through the uh, Dark Rift. It actually passes directly through it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly where it is. Should be roughly where I am. So we're going to look for it. It has a habit of passing through the Dark Rift, and it should come out roughly here. Is that it? That's it. Got kind of lucky with it this time. This is our discovery. This is the Long Line. It is said that the Long Line fishing was developed by ancient Yahoo Tomans as a way to effectively catch fish that don't travel in big schools. It is believed this is one of the first Long Lines ever created, so it's just a gigantic fishing line. Kept up by uh, balloons, and they would just come back and get it later on. So it passes through that dark rift, and it has it goes like from upper sky to lower sky, back and forth on this just one very, very small and thin line. But because it goes through the dark rift, it can sometimes be hard to find. Okay, we're going to do two more discoveries, and then we're going to call it a day. The first one is so weird to find. You wouldn't even know it was a discovery unless you actually tried it. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, fly up high... And I've got to find the exact spot, because there's only one spot that you can do this at. Or does it fly down low? I can't remember. Okay, you're going to go here. Okay, we're going to turn around. So we want to face the moon, if we can find it. We're going to go north. And what should happen is the sky should start to darken. I'm supposed to, at least. Do I have to go way up high? Is that what I have to do? I can't remember. There's a specific way you do this. Notice that the moon corresponds to what I do. That's what we're looking for. But we're looking for a very specific spot for this. So let's look for it. Go low. Things low. Okay. So we're looking for a very specific spot. Come on, where are you? Okay, let's go searching for it. The sky should start to darken around a very specific spot on the map. Which is supposed to be... Uh, in this square right here. I'm basically on top of it. I just gotta find it. The sky will darken in a very weird pattern. It doesn't do this anywhere else. In fact, that's the entire point. That's the discovery. I gotta find it. Oh, there's our sky battle over there. We're not gonna go bother him right now. Come on, where are you? <laughs> I have never had this much trouble finding discovery. This is like the easiest discovery that I ever had to find in Upper Sky. Where is it? I don't know why this is giving me so much trouble. Looking for a point where the sky just, it just darkens. That's all it does. The sky darkens, and that's what we're looking for. The thing is, it's supposed to, it's, it relates to the moon. And the reason why I'm looking at the moon is because it relates to the moon. That's what we're looking for. Is it around here? I'm looking for it. The sky seems to be darkening. And then it lightens up again. Around here? Hmm. This is kind of driving me nuts. Because this shouldn't, you know what? We're going to do one, we're going to do it the other way. We're going to do it the easy way, because there's an easier way to do this. The easiest way to get discoveries is to find another discovery that's somewhere in the area, like it's on a vertical line to it, or it's a horizontal line or something like that. So you find one discovery, and then you use that to find another discovery. So we're going to use one discovery that I know, I have the general whereabouts of this one, and we're going to use that to find the other one. So the one we're going to hunt for is Looper Nest, which should be on this rock somewhere. Go looking for it. There it is. 
the Looper's Nest. Loopers are mysterious creatures rarely seen even by the most seasoned sailors. Ha! <laughs> we see them everywhere. They nest in the stone reefs and their young stay in the nest until they're mature. Loopers are white at birth, but they turn various colors as they age. And where's the Looper's Nest? Where was it? Look at the exact location because that's the location I need to be on. Okay. So here's the Looper's Nest. See? Looper. Okay. Now we're going to go from here. And from here, we're going to fly north. We're going to look for the point where the sky turns dark. Gonna ignore the big guy. We're gonna go north, see how the sky's darkening? That's where the Whoop, there it is! Okay. It darkens at one specific point. When we find it, we have found Eclipse Point, the only place in the world where a lunar eclipse can be observed at predictable intervals. Eclipses where a golden ring can be seen around the moon are seen as good omens, and complete eclipses are said to portent of impending disaster. Notice how the sky is dark here? If we back up a little bit, it gets better. Whoop, it's gone. And go forward, and dark. A little bit too far, a little bit further forward, it's gone. It's this specific point. Oh, I was looking in the wrong spot. I was looking in the upper left, it's the lower right. Well, there you go, guys. That's it for now. We will be hunting for more discoveries next time. There's a lot more to find. Actually, if in fact, if we look, we can see how many there are. Let's, let's go take a look, because I'm kind of curious myself. Discoveries. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen discoveries left over. That's not a lot, actually. That's a very small amount when you consider that there's eighty-eight discoveries altogether. So eighty-nine. Sorry, eighty-nine. There's a ton. So we'll have to go hunt them all down. Okay, folks. I'll see you guys next time as we go to hunt down even more discoveries. See you soon.